During the pandemic, LAUSD kept uh, kids connected digitally. Now that they are back in the classroom, digital technology is still being used to help them learn. The challenge is finding the money to keep kids connected. And I would assume where Sid Garcia has the story. What you're seeing here is a fully digitally connected classroom. Fourth graders are working on their math lessons using tablets issued by LAUSD. Congressman Tony Cardenas and Superintendent Alberto Carvalho toured the connected classes at Andres and Maria Cardenas Elementary to see how students and teachers are doing. The money for all of this comes from a $7 billion emergency fund that was created a couple of years ago to keep school kids connected during the pandemic nationwide. Congressman Cardenas says with the debt ceiling issue in Washington, D.C. being worked out, he's looking for ways to keep education programs like this one you see here funded. We will move funds from one program to another if necessary. I don't want to do that, but if necessary, we will. And we will make sure that we try to keep every pot of money, every opportunity whole so that everybody on the ground, like here at our elementary school, so that they can actually continue to do the work that they set out to do. LAUSD has received $280 million from the Federal Emergency Connectivity Fund, but that money will eventually run out. Superintendent Carvalho adds that students who were dealing with the pandemic are still in crisis today, adding the connectivity program needs to continue to be funded. For anyone to think that they are no longer in crisis, they're wrong. So this is the right investment at the right time to absolutely continue to provide educational services. Congressman Cardenas says once the debt ceiling issue is resolved, he says he'll continue to fight for the funding to come to LAUSD to make sure the kids here stay connected. In Van Nuys, I'm Sid Garcia, ABC7 Eyewitness News.